Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain Faraday's law with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, first of all, I will explain basics of Faraday's law. After that, I will explain Maxwell's third equation for time varying field. Here, I will explain two equations. First equation is based on integral form and second equation is based on differential form. And one should know Maxwell's third equation for time varying field is based on Faraday's law. At last, I will explain applications of Faraday's law. So let us start this video with first agenda that is basics of Faraday's law. Faraday's have done series of experiments and based on his experiments, he have identified that with static magnetic field, there is no induced current in the circuit. So if there is static magnetic field, then there is no induced current in the circuit. But for time varying magnetic field, there is induced current in the circuit. So Faraday's have done series of experiments and based on those experiments, he have identified that with static magnetic field, the circuit has no induced current, but in time varying magnetic field, there is an induced current in the circuit. And that induced current that is happening because of induced EMF. So basic statement of Faraday's law is based on time varying field, rate of change of magnetic flux with respect to time generates induced EMF in the circuit. So induced EMF means induced potential that is rate of change of magnetic flux with respect to time. Here negative sign that is there due to induced EMF and time varying field is in opposite direction. So this negative sign that has been identified by Lenz. Faraday's have explained rate of change of magnetic flux with respect to time generates EMF. And this negative sign that is there due to induced EMF and time varying field is in opposite direction. And remember, see that negative sign that was discovered by Lenz, right? So Faraday's have explained induced EMF due to time varying magnetic field that explains induced EMF is negative of rate of change of magnetic flux with respect to time. And one should know magnetic flux that is surface integration of magnetic field, right? Now I will explain Maxwell's third equation for time varying field. And one should know Maxwell's third equation for time varying field is based on Faraday's law. So as per Faraday's law, rate of change of magnetic flux with respect to time that is induced EMF. And here we have negative sign due to Induced EMF and time varying field is in opposite direction, right? And one should know the basic definition of potential. See, potential is negative of line integration of electric field. So in my last few videos, I have explained potential calculation. Potential is negative of line integration of electric field. But here I have mentioned positive sign. Why? The reason is here work done is done on the charge. If work done is done by the charge, then there is a negative sign. But here we do work done on the charge. That's why here we have positive sign, right? So induced EMF, that is negative of rate of change of magnetic flux with respect to time. And that potential could be calculated by line integration of electric field, right? And if you compare these two equations, then we have line integration of electric field is equals to minus of rate of change of magnetic flux with respect to time, where this magnetic flux, that is surface integration of magnetic field, right? So this magnetic flux, that is surface integration of magnetic field. And here we have relation in between line integration and surface integration. And that is relation can be resolved using Stokes theorem. So one should know Stokes theorem 
that explains relation in between line integration and surface integration. Line integration of electric field is curl of electric field surface integration, right? And based on this relation, we can place this line integration of electric field in terms of surface integration. Why? The reason is we want to cancel out this integration, right? So based on this relation, if you cancel out this integration in terms of this surface integration, then now we will be having del cross E that is equals to del B by del T. And here we will be having negative sign, right? So curl of electric field that is negative of rate of change of magnetic field with respect to time. And here you can observe we have two different equations. See, first equation that is in form of integration. And this equation that is there in form of rate of change of field with respect to time. So these two equations are Maxwell's third equation for time varying field. This is integral form and this is differential form, right? So that is how one can have Maxwell's third equation for time varying field. And always remember for static field, for non time varying field, del cross E that is equals to zero as well as integration EDL that is equals to zero. But that was therefore static field, which also I have covered in my last few videos of that video lecture series of electromagnetic theory. In this video, we are talking about time varying field in which integral form is having induced DMF and that could be represented by this equation with integral form and differential form that is del cross E is equals to minus dB by dt, right? Now, I'll explain you applications of Faraday's law. See, there are many applications with Faraday's law. Here, I'll be discussing about only two applications. Let me talk about first application that we widely used with many applications. See, first application is there based on transformer. See, in transformer, usually we have two windings. One is primary winding and second is secondary winding. At primary winding, we give input and at secondary winding, we take output, right? See here, input to output, that signal goes as per rate of change of magnetic flux with respect to time. So by giving AC signal over here, there will be coupling of signal from primary to secondary and at secondary, we get induced EMF, right? See second application that is emitter. If you observe here, we have emitter where here we have magnets that is generating magnetic field. And here we have closed loop that is happening via this winding. As if current is passing in this closed loop, then it will be resulting into force on this mechanical structure. And that mechanical structure will give deflection over here. And that deflection explains amount of current passing in this loop. So here we have transformer and emitter. These two equipments that we widely used in electronics that is functioning based on Faraday's law. I hope now you are having fair enough idea about what is Faraday's law. Faraday's law explains that rate of change of magnetic flux with respect to time generates induced EMF, right? And there will be negative sign with that induced EMF. Thank you so much for watching this video. Still, if any confusion is there, just post that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you.